Hey guys, I am Cole, a VOD nomad. I will be showing you where and how I get my text-to-speech generated voice. Go to the link in the description box, https colon slash slash text hyphen to hyphen speech hyphen demo dot ng dot bluemix dot net. Put your text here to generate it into speech. I use Allison V3, you can change that through the drop down above this box. You can save your audio to .mp3 or .wav or whatever your preference is. Put your text here to generate it into speech. Don't worry if you forgot to put the audio format. You can change it by renaming the audio file. You can add or customize pauses in this tab. Like this, hey guys, I am Cole. A VOD nomad. You can add or customize pauses in this tab. Like this, hey guys, I am Cole. A VOD nomad. If you want to be more complex, you could always use the voice transformation SSML. Hello, I'm Allison, but you can change my voice however you wish. For example, you can make my voice a bit softer or a bit strained. You can alter my voice timbre making me sound like this person or like another person in your different applications. You can make my voice more breathy than it is normally. I can speak like a younger. And you can combine all this with modifications of my speech rate and my tone. I have been assigned to handle your order status request. I am sorry to inform you that the items you requested are back ordered. We apologize for the inconvenience. We don't know when those items will become available. Maybe next week, but we are not sure at this time. Because we want you to be a happy customer, management has decided to give you a 50% discount. That was weird. Anyways, you could explore this and learn by yourself. You could also read their blogs for more info. That sounded like my mouth was full of saliva. Sorry about that. Tips when using text-to-speech generated voices. 1. Avoid using abbreviated words. If you want more clear speech type the whole word like don't, t, do not, or your, t, you are. 2. Avoid entering too much texts. This will make your editing much easier, because sometimes you would want to add or remove words. 3. Number your audio file. You do not want to be confused and disorganized. It would eat time. Just use one main.mp3. Change main to a word that is in the audio you could easily recognize. 4. Put it in a folder. 5. Do it every winter because our betty. Leave a like in this video if you find it helpful and subscribe if you are new to this channel. Have a nice day.